Welcome to this short demo to RHRB, R heart rate variability. RHRB is an open source package for performing heart rate variability analysis. This video is not a video tutorial. If you want a video tutorial about RHRB, consult the website of the tool. This video is just a short demo of the functionality of the tool. To work with the tool, first we need to create a data structure to store the RR intervals and the results of the analysis. We're going to load the RR intervals from a file which is stored in ASCII, although other formats are supported. We build the non-interpolated heart rate and we're going to plot it. By plotting it, we can observe how the patient was really tachycardic at the beginning of the recording. Approximately here, this patient received a drug intravenously to decrease its heart rate, and we can see the effect here. We can also see that there are outliers in this uh, recording, so we're going to have to remove them. We're going to perform automatic filtering using a function that our HRB provides with that purpose. We have used the default settings. And we can see how approximately 200 heartbeats have been removed. And indeed, most of the artifacts are gone, but at least we have a couple of them over there. So we're going to perform manual edition of those artifacts that we can see visually very clearly here. There are four heartbeats. We want to remove them. Now we are happy with the heart rate. We consider it to be artifact free. So we are done and we can keep with our analysis. We are going to define two different intervals for the analysis, two episodes. One episode is before the drug administration and is called not drug and the other is during the drug administration. The drug was administered intravenously and the second episode is during the administration of that drug. We're going to plot again the heart rate with the episodic information this is before drug administration, during drug administration. We interpolate the heart rate, so we obtain an equally spaced time series at 4 Hz and we create a frequency analysis. We're going to perform the frequency analysis using the wavelet transform and we can see the results. This time series represents the temporal evolution of uh, LF divided by IHF, ultra, of the ultra low frequency, very low frequency, low frequency, and high frequency bands. We can perform this plotting showing the information about the episodes we have defined. The episodes, although we have defined them programmatically here, they can be loaded from files of annotations, just for, just for example, mid B files which contain annotations. And now we're going to divide the uh, spectral parameters we have calculated for the heart rate variability in the interval where we have the uh, drug and where we don't have the drug. And we're going to plot the values of those parameters. We're going to print the values of these parameters. We can see how there is very strong difference between some of them, very, very low frequency while the drug has been administered was 1.2 while when the drug was not being administered it was 3.1 or the high frequency was 5.0 while the drug had been administered and 8.6 while it had not been administered. In a real study we will probably conduct some kind of statistical test between uh, these results to see the difference is significant. And this concludes this short demo. If you want more information about the open source package RHRB, go to our website. Over there you can find video tutorials, you can find PDF documentation about the tool, and you can find articles about the tool. Thank you for listening to this presentation.